Hello, this is the syllabus walkthrough video for Calculus BC for the 23-24 school year. Um, this that you're looking at is a living document and is subject to change um, and will reside in Schoology throughout the year. Um, so any changes that I make to it, I will email you with what the change is change it in this document and then highlight the changes. So the most recent changes will always be highlighted in the document. All right, so this is a course overview, which basically won't make a whole lot of sense until you are like in the class and we're doing it, but you're more than welcome to read that paragraph. Our course meets during block F. Um, my free periods are C and E. Uh, that's my email. If you want to meet with me during a free period, before school, after school, during a break, ooh, free X block, whatever, um, it's always best to email me ahead of time because I do move around campus and I may be in the art building or I may be in the middle school doing department chair stuff or in the lower school. So make sure that you nail me down as to where I'm going to be. Okay, so these are the course objectives. This is all like what the College Board actually says BC Calc is. So I'm not gonna read all of that to you. If you have some time, you're more than willing, welcome to do that. But that's like the high level description of what this course is. Um, all right, so we use um, two books here. One is AP Calculus by Larson. Uh, is the backbone text that we use for this course. Uh, it's the one that I'm going to reference when I give homework assignments. Um, it's a good idea to have this text. Um, can you survive the course without it? Probably, but it's a good handy reference to have at you know your back and call, and everything will be um, aligned to that in your homework. Um, the um, do you need to bring that book to class every day? No. Okay, uh, best to keep it in your uh, at home or in your dorm room so you have it when you need it. Um, the second thing is this uh, multiple choice of tree response questions for the AP Calculus BC examination. The ninth edition is what we're currently on. Um, we do not use this thing until the very end of the course when we do a cumulative review of the course. It's a lot of practice problems that we use when we summarize the course at the end. Uh, every day you're going to need a pencil. You're going to need your graphing calculator. The AP Calculus course assumes that you use your graphing calculator. Um, this is like, don't try doing stuff in your head when you're supposed to do it in the calculator. We'll get into that. Uh, laptop is a must. Bring that to class every day because that's where I house things. Like this syllabus and practice problems and things like that. Um, all right, this is a basic overlay of the course. There are eight major units, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which are all the BC material. Actually, one, three, five, four, five, six, seven, and eight, uh, not two, are BC material. Unit two is a, kind of a midrash unit on polar spectra, par parametrics and vector value functions. Note this says that this is subject to massive revision um, because, you know, like anything, Garrison Forest likes to throw in a curveball day or something like that. Um, I don't have, as of right now, the exact date of the math exam. It's like the second week of January. I'll get that plugged in as soon as I can into here. Uh, and then the exam, the AP exam is on the 13th of May. So we actually land this thing hopefully at the end of March, beginning of April, which gives you about a whole month to do review for the exam prep. And then afterward, we take on some advanced topics, which kind of gets you ready for like multivariate and linear algebra. All right, uh, great. This is probably the part that you most care about. How do I make a grade in this class? Okay, so your final grade is the average of your semester grade. In each semester, your semester grade will combine two grades. One is your course grade, which will be 80% of your semester grade. The remaining 20% will come from your semester exam grade. Okay, so that's true for, well, we'll get into why that's going to be a little bit weird here, but in each semester, it should be your course grade plus your exam grade 80 to 20. 
The course grade is broken into two parts, summative assessments, which are generally speaking the unit tests, informative assessments, which is generally speaking quizzes or classwork that we're doing. Uh, that's gonna comprise about 90 to 10. So the tests are the key part. Um, since this is an advanced placement course, there's not going to be a second semester exam. So this means that 100% of your semester grade for the second semester will be derived from your course grade. So there is no second semester exam in this class. Um, I do not do retakes on the test. You will find that I gave a generous and massive curve on each of the assessments. You should do the hard work of going back and reviewing the problems that you miss. Um, I'll talk more about the curve as we get into the year, but I do not do um, any summative assessments. In the um, light of essay qualm whatery, um, the spirit of being someone who knows calculus and not someone who seems to know calculus, we do not do extra credit. Okay. Uh, assessments are graded in such a way that the grade reflects your understanding of the content being accessed, assessed, your ability to persevere, to demonstrate critical thinking, to work creatively, collaboratively, and your willingness to be curious. Those things are the things that I will be commenting on on your report card. Um, students are uh, on the sliders on the report card. You get uh, some uh, feedback on your work habits, engagement, attention to detail, organization, self-advocacy, and timely completion of work. Um, so remember those will be on the report card. Attendance, um, you gotta be in class, right? It's pretty simple. Uh, this is just what is in the student handbook. If we ever need to adjudicate whether or not you are earning demerits, et cetera, I don't expect this to be an issue in an AP Calculus BC class, but from time to time, you know, people have differences of opinion as to what it means to be in class and on time. Um, you know, I'm a pretty reasonable human being. Most of you are juniors and seniors, and we just kind of make it work. Uh, communication is the key. Uh, academic honesty. Um, I have a small note about this. Um, you know, it, it basically it says like, don't cheat, don't copy, don't take claim somebody else's work as your own. Um, my biggest thing here is like, but collaboration is important. Okay, so what is the difference between collaboration and cheating? Collaboration is the idea that two of you can work together on a single sheet of paper. Afterwards, you can throw that piece of paper together and both of you can turn in your own individual work. That work would look radically different from person to person, but it's a sense of collaboration. Cheating is one person writes on the sheet of paper, the other one makes an exact duplicate of that sheet of paper, and then you both hand it in and claim it as your own. That's not cool. So kind of knowing where the line between collaboration and cheating is is kind of an important thing. Uh, cell phones. Um, I, I find this like interesting. Cell phones could be a distraction. I'm not going to make a huge deal about them. I think that by your junior and senior year, you should be developing some good cell phone habits. If I find that like you're doom scrolling during class or something like that, I will, you know, nudge you gently toward saying, hey, let's get back on track because we got an EP exam to prepare for and things like this. Um, if it does become a problem, this is what's in the handbook and um, this is what you should expect from me as far as monitoring it if we have a persistent problem, which we're not going to because we're all like smart people who know how to manage um, ourselves in this respect. All right. So there's a quick overview of the syllabus. Um, that being said, as always, if there is something in here or something that we're doing in class or not doing in class that's like particularly disruptive or not helping or helpful or something like that, uh, let me know. Um, you know, grab me. Let's make it uh, a time to meet and let's talk about it and we'll make adjustments because like ultimately this is about you learning math and not necessarily about my ego. So um, hopefully that gives you an idea of what we're expecting and gets the important pieces in print and we'll go from there. I 
want you to have a successful year and want to be part of that success for you. So thank you.